Ten seconds. Three, two, one, go. 15.2 is 14.2, and we are open and ready for fitness in Austin, Texas. I'm Chase Ingram, and alongside with me is seminar staff Flowmaster Sharif Chan as we kick off 10 overhead squats, 10 chest to bar pulls for two rounds in a matter of three minutes. Now, they, you know these athletes have seen this before, they've done this before, they have a goal in mind, but they didn't do it in front of this crowd the first time. They certainly didn't. What a matchup for this particular event. On paper, these two ladies almost look like the same athlete. Same amount of max pull-ups. They were only four reps apart last year here at 14.2. And as you saw, they both immediately broke up those pull-ups and had a game plan. I think Emily came off at about five. Uh, Michelle came off a little bit after that. Emily Bridgers to the bar first for the second round of 10 chest to bar pull-ups before they close it out for round number two. And you see a very specific break for Emily, the same for Michelle. As Emily will finish in right around a minute and 10 seconds. So she'll have a minute and 50 seconds to Which rest. is exactly where she finished last year in the first round to get her score. Uh, she had 337 reps. However, the world record for this, the first round was a longer pace. That was Camille uh, Bazinet. She was actually about 132. So Michelle was a little closer to that right there. As Emily Bridgers and Michelle Latondra, both done with their first round, you know, speaking to the world record from last year set by Camille LeBlanc Bazinet, she did this event 14.2 last year with Helena Fortunato, but got beat. You know, Camille being so efficient at chest of bar pull ups, you know, she almost used that to her disadvantage in the it, very first it's part. It's all of about strategy in this particular workout. If you run out and you do large sets of these pull ups, they're going to burn out quicker. If you can make the first four rounds, three to four rounds this as really a warm-up, I hate to say that, but a warm-up and stay calm, you're going to get pretty far. And speaking to her second round of Camille, she was a lot slower as she broke it up as Emily Bridgers just ahead of Michelle Latonda. And we noticed that it's not really the first round that's going to be very indicative of who is going to take this at the end. We know these athletes, it's incredible how similar they are, not just on paper, but on the competition floor as well. It definitely is. Same height, 5'1", about the same weight, 133, 135 pounds, same amount of pull-ups. Uh, when you look at their strengths and weaknesses on paper for events, their challenges are the same, their strengths are the same. Round two underway, we're going from 10 overhead squats to 12. Moving on to 12 chest to bar pull ups. Both athletes very smooth and rhythmic on these overhead squats. And we definitely, that should play to their advantage. You're not going to really see a lot of athletes fail out on the overhead squats so much as the plan really needs to be on how they're going to manage the chest to bar pull ups. Absolutely. And we didn't even see in 14.2 the elite athletes break up those overhead squats until about their last round where they ended up having to put that bar down. Emily Bridger still slightly ahead of Michelle Laton. This could potentially be, however, where Michelle is planning to pass her when we get to that 18 round, which is, uh, or the 20th round, which is where they both got to last year. It's to speak to who Michelle has been competing with the last four years, and that is Camille. Uh, yes. so Camille was a lot slower her second go around breaking this up a lot more than she did the first time emily is breaking it up with her pace is still fairly quick like she matched last year 20 seconds ahead of camille in round one and emily having a few reps left to go as michelle makes her way to the bar the energy in the crowd and having all these people around you is so amazing you might go faster then you really should or want to go in your head, which might be what's happening to Emily. Whereas Michelle right here, she's on pace uh, with what the world record was. So a little slower. Emily finishing right around a minute and 25 seconds for her second set. 
as Camille, looking back last year, was around, around a minute and 45. 4.45, yep. As Emily is still hanging on to a slight edge after the first two, we definitely have some affiliates watching around the world, and Roy's going to get in touch with them about her home gym in Atlanta, Georgia. Thanks, Chase. Yeah, we have on the line with us right now Emily's home gym, CrossFit Terminus, David. We know Emily's a lot yep. more to you guys than just an elite athlete. Tell us what she means to the community there at Terminus. Well, we love Emily here. We're here. The, the squat mafia is behind me right now. Known Emily since she was a little girl, and she's quite the competitor. But, you know, she takes off that competitor hat, and she's a wonderful teacher to all of us here in the box. And right. when we see how hard she works day after day, and then she works with us to make us all better. We just love Emily and Ben. Right on. Well, I'm going to pass the mic back to Chase. While I do, let's hear some love for Emily from CrossFit all Terminus. All right, love for Emily, everybody. Let me take it back. We know we have a lot of affiliates and communities watching around the world. Sheree, I know CrossFit Roots is having their own watching party. I'd like to say a shout-out to my Big D family as they're watching as well as we get set for round number three. 14 overhead squats at 65 pounds into 14 chest of bar pull-ups for two rounds. Emily on the right seems to have a little bit quicker pace on these overhead squats where Michelle is very smooth. She just seems very just processing each move that she's trying to make. Michelle starting to build a reputation for herself of having a very good mindset. Uh, and that reputation came around in around 2013 when she started to have a lot more belief in her own abilities and the ability to not watch the competitor next to her. And I think that's exactly what she's doing here. She's she's like, I know what I need to do. I'm not going to pay attention to the fact that Emily's a little bit ahead of me time-wise because it's going to help me at the end of this. Michelle LaTondra on the left looks very smooth as both athletes get to the bar at the same time starting the second round. Emily on the right is getting a slight edge as far as cycling these overhead squats, but Michelle is definitely making it up on the pull-up bar. She looks a little bit more comfortable on there than Emily does, and we start to see the round of 14 is where we'll start to gauge a little bit as how these athletes are starting to feel, that, you know, you're starting to feel the workout now. You can see a little bit in Emily's body language where that squat is taking a little bit more of a toll uh, in the pace that she's gone out on than it was with uh, Michelle. We'll see if that even factors in at all. Because one thing is Emily is known for, it is a serious engine. Emily does have an engine. She seems to be working pretty hard on these chest of our pull-ups. If you look at Michelle Atonner in the back, just about floating up on that bar. So be curious to see how this next round is going to fare as we move from 14 to 16. Again, Emily is still holding a slight edge. That only took her about a minute and 45 seconds to do for round number three. And notably, those are the same paces. She still has a video posted from 14.2, so we looked at some of the splits. Those are the same paces that she had last year for her particular score that she had. Whereas, again, that world record was a little slower, which is what we're seeing Michelle do. Jason. Now we got to touch base with Atlanta, Georgia, but let's throw it up a little bit north more to the Canada side and see how they're doing up there. Welcome up north. Yeah, Chase, we caught wind of a party up uh, north of the border. Guys, tell us what the scene is like up there in Canada. Uh, we have uh, Earth Mike here from uh, the owner. We also happen to have Tyson Takasaki and Quadzilla, Daniel Petro, and not to mention a phenomenal community. Let's hear it, guys. They're pretty jacked up. Right on. You guys enjoy 15.2 up there. Back to the action with the ladies and Chase on the action. Ten seconds to go, and I'd just like to say thank you, Canada, for your wonderful weather down here in Austin, Texas today. <laughs> One, go. Yakaru, the gym, is known for the white bear, and when we came down here this week, I tell you, it is really a polar bear down <laughs> here is, in this gym. It is very fitting, the wonderful weather we have in Texas as it shifts day to day. Moving on to round number four, we've done 10, 12, and 14. We're moving on to 16 overhead squats. 16 chest of bar pull-ups for two rounds. Emily Bridgers a slight edge on Michelle Atondra. Emily Bridgers to the bar first. And Cherie, you definitely, as you can see, Emily on the left seems to be working just a little bit harder than Michelle on the left on the bar on the bar right now. 
definitely appears, and we'll, we'll see how it plays out, but it appears as though she's got a little bit more energy coming out, uh, and that would be in the way that her body is moving, as well as the facial expressions and the sinking. She seems to be using a little more energy than Michelle is. Emily breaking it up into two sets. Michelle in three, one minute in. We have two minutes remaining in the round of 16. Again, both of these ladies in the top 15 in the world last year in 14.2. Emily Bridgers getting 337. Michelle Latondra just behind her with 333. So they know this really isn't the race for them. They have, I mean, they got into the almost around the 20s. So they have a lot more work left to go. The majority of the people around the world will have stopped well before this point right here. They are, this is where the elite athletes start to pull. And just like Dave Castro said, separate themselves from the rest right here to making it through this 16 and getting into 18. Emily Bridges on the left, breaking into sets of four. Michelle Atondra on the right side of your screen in fives. Coming up on one minute remaining for this round of 16. And Emily Bridges is doing one less broken set on the pull-up bar than Michelle Atondra. And it's still plenty of time, but it is slowly dwindling. And we got to talk about this is that the, the death by protocol. The, <laughs> yes. the, the, um, the round per minute, the add the rep, the next minute. It, it feels great when you first start saying when you're using something like strict pull-ups and one pull-up and I have 57 seconds worth of rest. But it is amazing how quickly this stuff compounds. And it's not just a physical thing that these athletes need to worry about but it's that that mental panic mode is you're getting less and less rest but more and more work the amazing thing about these workouts is the only thing that is stopping you is your own capacity and so there is no time limit it's infinite based on how fit you are round number five underway as we're 12 minutes in and we move from 16 to 18 and this is the major round. This is definitely for these elite athletes when this event starts, the round of 18. They look so strong right now. We're gonna see with maybe in about the next round where the wheels start coming off, but they're gonna hold this pretty tight. Michelle Latondra and Emily Bridgers off the bar at the exact same time. We're moving to 18 chest of bar pull-ups. And you can, you can see in the top of your screen the number of reps they have already completed, 232. Split that in half. Like, I can't remember the last time I had to do 115 chest of bar pull-ups and kept, kept working out. This is a workout that most people will not be able to redo based on the stimulus they got from the quantity of pull-ups from this workout. It's not like 15.1 and 15.1a where you're like, let me just keep trying it. No, you're going to feel this workout. For the first time, Michelle Atondra pulls ahead of Emily Bridgers as her pacing on the pull-up bar is starting to pay off. Emily Bridgers on the right, Michelle Atondra in the center screen on the left side, having that very smooth tempo. She has really never broke form, broke speed. It's just consistent up and down reps for her. Five more reps for both athletes. Just peaking over 262 reps. And you can see Michelle look back at the clock. She knows what is happening. She has a plan. Emily Bridgers first definitely to the bar. intentional. Michelle Atondra. One minute remaining. These athletes have to get through 18 chest to bar pull ups before time expires if they're going to move on to the round of 20. Now, in order to stay on pace to beat the world record, getting off the bar at around 1434 is where Cam got off last year. And at that, Cherie, Emily Bridgers is still hanging on. 14.30 for that round. 
Michelle Latondra, 37. Looking back at the world record last year, Camille LeBlanc has an a finish this round. It took her two minutes and 51 seconds to get through the round of 20. Only 20 women last year even got to this position. It's going to be interesting to see how far we've come in a year and not just do they have a shot to maybe get to that next level that Camille did, but can they are on pace to beat the record set by Camille, and that is 404 repetitions. I think that's significant what you just said, Chase. 20 women in the entire world got to where you see Michelle and Emily right now. And it's right here in this part of this event where it got handed to them. And this is the first time you see that they break up the overhead squats. Emily did first, then you went ahead and saw Michelle put that down. And I'm not sure if it was Michelle that really needed to do that, but sometimes you, you play the, to the competition at hand and you almost see someone break and you think you must break yourself. As Emily Bridges is back up to the bar, she took her 45 seconds to get to those overhead squats. And that's on pace to maybe make it underneath, but you can't waste a whole lot of time now. So if they can get off the bar with a shot about 90 seconds to get them the last round. Now, if this truly was all part of Michelle's plan to kind of beat Emily, this is where she has to step on the gas to get into that next round. Athletes getting through their round of 20 chest of our pull-ups. Their best scores from a year ago. Michelle Atondra had 333 reps. Emily Bridgers, 337. And with 90 seconds remaining, both athletes have a shot to best their scores from last year. But if they can keep the pace, they might have a chance to best the best score we've ever seen in this event. And this is a huge lead right now for Emily going into these overhead squats. It looks as though she is on pace to be only the second woman ever to get into the next round. One minute remaining. Emily Bridgers is hung on to the bar. And she is a grinder and she is a gamer, but she is also just two reps away from besting her score from a year ago. And it is proof that CrossFit works because she is fitter than she was as we move on. And she has an opportunity, 40 seconds, to try to get 20 chest of bar pull-ups. These rests are gonna have to be very short and she's gonna have to just really dig deep to get into that next round. Emily Bridgers, 346. With 20 seconds remaining, Michelle Atondra passes her score from last year. Both of these ladies are fitter than they were in 2014. Bridgers just seven reps away. She's got to hang on. With seven seconds to go, so she might not get 20. But she will get the win as 15.2 is over. And Emily Bridgers with the best score she's ever put up in this event. And just about right now, the best score we've seen, 357. Michelle Atondra, give her cross to 344. Camille, you can breathe easy. That was now. That was absolutely amazing. For watching now. Emily go out at the speed that she did and then hold 